Hey everyone, it's me Joji, and today we're taking a look at the Trainer Toolkit. Now this thing came out last week, but I haven't been able to get my hands on it because it is super, super hard to find. My local card shop was only able to get six of them, and a lot of places have already been sold out. This thing is crazy. If you're a TCG player or just a collector, this is something you have to get. This thing comes with 150 cards. Keep in mind, they're more geared towards TCG players. So if you play the online game, the code for this thing goes for maybe like 10, 15 bucks. And it also comes with four booster packs, which I didn't know. And then it comes with some sleeves that are pretty interesting. Uh, I think they might have came out in a different Japanese product a while back. And then the usual like rule book and what else? dice and the acrylic uh, counters for burn and poison which uh, usually come in all the other stuff that you see but these are slightly different and other than that this thing comes with some special artworks for certain cards so we're gonna see some new Dedene artwork and some new trainer card artwork so I'm super excited to see what's inside this thing because I want to play with some of these things when we're able to uh, after all this, uh, you know, this business is over. I'm actually looking forward to this because this is going to bring down the price of a lot of important cards like the Dene. The Dene's and Boss's Orders are two cards that are in here and my gosh, they, the fact that Pokemon decided to add these into like a box like this is crazy. I mean, they're literally just destroying the third party card market with this. I mean, I'm all for it. I don't want to pay... I forget how much the Dene's used to go for, but I think when they first initially came out, they were around $40 per card. And that's just for the regular GX. Even the code, like not the code, but like the online version of the card was super expensive as well. I think you needed like 40 um, of the current booster pack codes to get at least one Dene for trades. All right, so this comes with the cover here. Uh, I don't know. Ooh, the cover is actually, it's it's cut. They have a Pokeball. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know about that. So that, like, area here is where the Pokeball was. Now, this thing, I think you can also use as storage. How do I open this? Oh, there we go. Open it up like that. Oh, man. That's, this is actually really packed. You could probably pack some old cards or something like that. Uh, here are the counters. They're pretty much just generic counters as before. Here are the dice, which I think are just the same ones as... Actually, no, these are different. We haven't seen this type of dice before. I'll have to take a look at what the, the one is. We get our booster packs here. <gasps> Unbroken Bonds? What the heck? Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, Rebel Clash, and then Broken Bonds. Okay, interesting. That is very interesting. I don't know if these are random or not, but Unbroken Bonds is something that you would definitely want to get. We got some trainer um, rules here for the game. What else is in here? They said there was two of these, I think. Unless, oh, this is just information on the trainer toolkit. Okay. Um, okay, this is an example deck on how you would I probably use the trainer toolkit to add cards to it. Uh, let's see here. What else? Is there nothing else down here? I don't think there's anything else down there. All right, we'll take a look at the cards in a second. Here are the sleeves. Not bad looking sleeves here. I think, yeah, it looks like there's every single type of energy in there, kind of close to where they correspond in color. So we got colorless up here, then we have leaf, dark, water, fire, fighting, metal, lightning, dragon, fire again. Okay, wait, oh, is this one fairy maybe? Yeah, I think this one's fairy, my bad. Yeah, hmm. Nice sleeves, they're kind of bent. I don't know if you can pick that up there, but all right. We get our first bunch of cards with that sought after the Dene GX right there. Really, really nice card. 
I love the artwork on this one. Now, if you see this artwork and it seems familiar, it's because it is. The EVGX that we recently got in the Pikachu and Eevee um, collection box is done, has done the same artwork for Dedenne GX here. Nope. So that EVGX and this Dedenne GX are the same uh, artist. I forget the name. I think it's down here somewhere, but um, I'll have to put up maybe some more of uh, his or her artwork up on the screen. They mainly do some comics, I think, in Japan. And then I think, I forget how many of these cards are in here, but the rest of that 150 is just pure energy. I mean, look at the size of that stack right there. That's a lot of energy. I don't think anyone really needs this much energy, especially if you're a player who have way too much energy already. This is honestly trash to me, <laughs> this much energy. But it's nice to maybe just have there. And that's pretty much it for the box. Uh, I think you could probably get rid of some of the things in here and make it like full on storage. But uh, let's seal, actually let's stuff some stuff back in there that we don't need right now. And we will take a look at the trainer cards that came with this. Oh, and there is a code card. I'll show that off in a second. Let's actually take a look at these before we put them back in. I want to see what it has for this number one. Oh, it's just a regular one. All right, disappointing. Usually like um, elite trainer boxes have a special artwork for those. You know, I'll put these energies back in here too. We don't need those energies. We don't need any of that stuff out right now. And we'll probably take a look at all these packs and see what we pull today. See if it's worth getting for pulls maybe. All right, so we got packs to open. We're gonna take a look at those cards in a second, but let's show off the code card. Here it is. There's a code card for this trainer toolkit. Enjoy. And I'm sure it'll probably come with every single card in here, plus the sleeves and maybe a coin or something. Who knows? Yeah, uh, I don't know how to open this. There's probably like a little tab here on the bottom. Seems to be a tab there, but safety, go ahead and cut upwards. Cut. All right. I don't think that did much here. That did not do much. Okay, let's try again. Cut. There we go. That is a better cut. Yep. Close this off. I don't want to get hurt. Safety first. All right. Oh, I guess there was maybe a cut there because that just cut very cleanly. Yeah, it looks like there was a tab I completely missed. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at these cards. Let's set them up here. So we get two of these the Den GX's. Not bad. It is literally just the same the Den GX as before, but again, it's a different artwork. Um, from the previous Dedenes that we had. All right, let's go ahead and leave these up because I am definitely gonna maybe use one of them and keep the other one sealed, or not sealed, but like just stored somewhere. Because that is actually very awesome to have probably a very popular artist do the artwork for Pokemon. And these are definitely like one-offs, kind of like the a screaming, I forget, a screaming painting that they did for Pikachu, Rowlet, Mimikyu, and a bunch of others. All right, these aren't as impressive as those Dedenne's, but they are very important when it comes to playing Pokemon. So we got Mallow and Lana. We've got another Mallow and Lana. Boss's Orders, which is one of the reasons why I say the price for Boss's Orders is definitely going to go down because this guy right here, you have, oh, there's only one of them. There should be another one somewhere in here. Then we also have different alter, alternate arts for Poke Gear and some other cards here. But so far we have Poke Gear. We have Quick Ball, Fire Crystal. Keep in mind these are all gonna be super important cards going forward after rotation. But all these cards are good for post and pre rotation. So we're getting a bunch of awesome things here. Reset Stamp. Another, another of the artworks that uh, gets an alternate. Um, 
Uyama is the artwork artist for that. Is this the same one? No, this one is Anahe. Okay, maybe it is a different artist for the Dedena GX. I, maybe it's not the same as the Eevee You right. I'll have to double check. Then here's the other one that has a different art. It's the Pokemon Communication. I think all the trainer cards that have a different art are done by the same person, Uyama. We have Giant Hearth, Wind Energy, Green's Exploration, and I believe it's two of each of these cards. So you'll probably see some repeats at this point. But yeah, we, we get two of each of these cards. There's the other boss's orders. These are all very, very, very sought after cards. They're essential for pretty much any deck that you ever build in Pokemon. So Pokemon just decided to release this kind of thing where it's just a bunch of trainer cards a person would need when they're playing. It's actually pretty smart on their part to try and help increase their player base. And Air Balloon is the last card. All right. Well, that is pretty much everything as you can see that you get in this box. Not including these four packs. Now, I don't know if the Unbroken Bonds is something that everyone is guaranteed to get, or if I just got lucky and got an Unbroken Bonds. But if everyone gets guaranteed an Unbroken Bonds, that is awesome. Maybe we'll put another Dedene GX here. That'd be pretty funny. All right. Maybe that's the reason they threw it in here, because of Dedene GX. I don't know. Here is the code card for that. One, two, three. Energy. We have Leiron, Martial Arts Dojo, Fairy Charm, Diglett, Hollywag, Rhyhorn, Growlithe, Cubone, Agron Reverse, and Zero Aura. No Dedene. That's all right. Let's see if we can get anything else in either the Sword and Shield base set or the Rebel Clash packs. All right, here's another code card for you guys. Go with that. One, two, three. Energy. And we have Dub Wool, Doug Trio, Witch, Rhyhorn, Rookity, Krabby, Rookie, Mud Ray, Turtonator, and Santa Scorch. Man, okay, maybe they just gave us dud packs here. It would suck if they gave us dud packs. I'm hoping that at least these have some A pool. That would be great. There's another code. There's another energy. Here is an electrode. Beware. Alosan. Impidim. Bunnelby. Phantom. Creepy. Hardfetch. Iski Reverse. And Ludicolo. Okay, maybe we are literally just giving a bunch of dead packs. That kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, we're still getting the Dedenes. Wow, what the heck? This thing... Wow, that was... glued on really hard. Um, we are given a lot of dud packs, I think. Here is the energy. And I... Man, if we don't even at least get a hollow, this kind of sucks. For the packs, at least. All right, <laughs> we at least pulled a Grimmsnarl for today. It seems like Grimmsnarl is like the most basic holo you can pull from a book clash, but all right, I'll take it. We still did get the Dedenes and then those bosses orders in this set, so I'm okay with that. And hopefully you did enjoy this, like, I guess review. It is definitely catered towards new players. If you want to start playing, want to help building a deck this is definitely the thing to get get a trainer toolkit you'll get the dedenes you'll get all these trainer cards you'll get a bunch of energy if you need it and then you'll get four packs for you to start building a deck but it's a great way to start and i think one of those books definitely helped uh talk about building a deck specifically look like pikaram uh which is definitely a very simple deck to play and one of the best honestly in the format right now so if you're Wanting to build something, peek around probably would be the best bet with this trainer toolkit. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think this is definitely worth getting. I think it costs $30, but 
when I purchased it. I don't know if people are going to be charging more or <laughs> who knows how much because these things are definitely sought after. They're pretty much sold out everywhere. I did see some on the PokemonCenter.com. So if you can try and get one from there, it might be worth it because they do partner with Amazon to ship those things. So it'll get to you fairly quickly. But if you can find one, definitely pick one up. Keep it sealed if you want to or open it up for some awesome cards. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this item. I would definitely recommend it if you can get it. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, get subscribed. Ring that bell to get notified on more Pokemon content. And thanks for watching.